A kid who showed Silver Gaming Artist or Silver Gaming Rising. She's a small amount of YouTuber with 385 subs at the time of recording this. And she's very simple 2012 2014 Minecraft skin. And we're just doing a little bit of a skin trade, so I decided to make a tutorial on it. Anyways, the blocks you need are white concrete, white wool, purple concrete, purple wool, purple powder, light blue concrete, light blue wool, light blue powder, blue concrete, blue wool, blue powder, blue terracotta, magenta concrete, magenta wool, black exposed copper, strip jungle wood, black concrete, Strip dark oak wood, dark oak planks, dark oak stairs, dark oak slab, dark oak trap door, polished blackstone, polished blackstone stairs, and polished blackstone slab. These are all the blocks you need, so pause now to grab all of them. Okay, the first time blocks you need is your white concrete, your blue concrete, so grab that now. Okay. And before we get into this, I took a little bit of creative liberties into building our skin, so it's not going to be the exact replica. But I think it looks better the way I did it, to be honest. And when we get to the body, it's gonna be a whole mix mash of mixing up colors and stuff, so there's gonna be no organization for that. Okay, so I've got your white wool and go across eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull back three on both sides and connect it across. Okay, so off on the far left, get your purple wool and go across four. Next step, get your black blue wool, go across one. And then three light blue powder to the right of that. On top of the light blue wool, go up one more. To left of that, place a purple powder. Then going away from the middle of the body, get your white wool. Place two on both sides. On the ends, place the wool variant of that color on both sides. On top of the far right white wool on both sides, place the wool variant of each color. The next side, place the powder variant of each color. On both corners, go up seven blocks of blue wool. I mean, uh, blue concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go in one towards the middle on both sides. Next, get your blue powder. Go across two on top of both those blocks on both sides. Then get your blue concrete and go across a full row across on top of that. Connecting it to both sides like so. Okay, let's do one on the right side of the leg. So now get your purple powder, pull across three to the left, and go up one to the far right, I mean on the far left. Place two purple powder in the middle. Let's move on to the other side. So off from the bottom left corner, place a light blue wool. Light blue powder on top of it. Next row over, go up two light blue powder. On the next row over, place a light blue powder and a light blue wool on top of it. Move on to the back side of the legs. So off the back left corner, go up two light blue powder. Next column over, place a light blue wool and light blue powder on top of it. Next column over, place light blue powder with light blue wool, wool on top of it, yeah. Okay, next column, place a purple wool with a purple powder on top of it. Next column, place a purple wool with purple powder on top of it. Next column, place a purple powder with a blue purple wool on top of it. Next, on the back two corners, get your blue concrete and go up nine blocks each. Just like so. Next, next all on top. Making a rectangular shape. And now with your blue concrete, fill it all in. I'll just get to I'm done. Pause now. Okay, with that done, you can now drop your blue concrete. Next, grab your purple terracotta. You can put away your white concrete for now. So I'll get your purple terracotta. And the two middle blocks go up two columns of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make a square white wool on top of that. The next, grab your stripped jungle wood and place two across that. Next, you, you put away your white wool. Okay. Next, get your placement block. Any block doesn't matter. Pop out four and go in three, four times on the top layer of the leg, just like so, and do for both sides. Four by th four, simple 16, 16 square. On top of each block, place one strip jungle wood each. Just like so. And do for the other side as well. And then break the placement blocks. Just like so. 
Okay, next. On the right hand, get your light blue bowl. And go all the way across the rim of the hand. And on the right side, get your purple powder and go all the way across the rim of the hand. Just like so. Okay, next, get your blue blue terracotta and go across two rows on the bottom, like so, on both sides. Then on the hands, go across four rows of blue terracotta, just for the front side. Just like so. Just like so. On the ends, on the hands, go in two blue terracotta. Okay. In the bottom corner of the body, make go up two. Then go in one more column and go in one, like so, giving you the little staircase shape, like so. Okay, we're going to start off the right side with the light blue shapes. Start off in this low gap, get your light blue concrete and go three. One, two, three. On top of it, place light blue powder. And the bottom and the little indent, place the light blue powder as well. The light blue powder to the top right diagonal of that. And the indent, place the light blue wool with light blue wool on top of it. And the indent, place the light blue concrete, the light blue concrete on top of it, and one to the right. To the right of that light blue concrete, place the light blue wool. On top of the light blue wool, place the light blue powder, and go across two light blue powder to the left of that. To the bottom left diagonal of that, place the light blue powder as well. On the far right, light blue powder, place the light blue wool, then light blue concrete to the right of that, and light blue wool on top of that. Okay, I've gone to the left side, and we'll do the purples. Start off in the indent, place a purple concrete. In the indent, go across two purple wool. On the far right, go up two purple powder. On the bottom indent, go across two purple concrete. And go up two purple concrete on the far left, giving you a capital L. And the indent, place a purple wool with a purple powder on top of it. Next to purple concrete, to the left of it, place a purple wool, and then a purple powder. On top of the purple powder, place a purple powder and a purple wool on top of the purple wool. To the right of the purple wool, place a purple powder. To the left of the purple powder, place a purple concrete, a purple wool on the left of that, and a purple powder on top of that. Just like so. Giving you symmetrical but different colored shapes. Okay, on the ends, go up three blue terracotta each. One, two, three, and go into one on both sides. Just like so. Okay, next, put away any two blocks and gear up your two magentas. Starting the far left, get your magenta concrete, and place one magenta wall on top of it, magenta concrete on top of it, magenta wall to the right of it, and magenta concrete on top of it, like so. On the other side, place one magenta wall, one magenta concrete, one magenta wall, one magenta concrete to the left of it, and one more on top of it. Just like so. Okay, next, you put those two colors away and get room for three blocks and grab your three dark oak, uh, dark oak planks, stairs, and slabs. Start off. Place a top slab popped out on top of this purple powder right here. Then get your dark oak plank on top of that and go all the way up to the tippy top, popped out. On the top dark oak plank, get your uh, dark oak and pull two to the left. Pull it down two, one, two. Underneath that, get your dark oak stairs, face to the left and face it upside down so it's facing away from you. And you can see a little corner like that. The next column over, get your dark oak plank and go down three. One, two, three. Then place a dark oak stairs upside down facing towards you. Like so. Okay. On the left side, you get your blue terracotta and fill in all the gaps. Just like so. Now on the far right side, just place one blue terracotta in this one gap. Then place any block to matter which, and place a upside down dark oak stairs facing towards you. And on top of that, place four dark oak planks. On the top right dark oak plank, pull across two to the right. Then pull it down one, and with a dark oak stair facing away from you, towards the right. 
On the next row over, pull down two duck oak planks and one more duck oak stair facing towards you. And you fill the rest of the gaps in with blue terracotta, just like so. And with that, the front of Silver Gaming Rising is done. Pause if you need to. Okay, now we're going to the right side of her. So off, you can put away all your dark oaks. Make sure you have your blue powder and your blue bowl down, and have your three purples. Start off in the bottom left, make a square blue terracotta. On the bottom right, place one, and on the top left, go two. Okay, now on the indent, grab your magentas, place a magenta wool, magenta concrete on top of it, magenta wool to the left of it, and two magenta concrete on top of that. To the right of that, go up two blue terracotta. On the far left, go up two purple concrete, with the purple on top of the, and to the right of the purple concrete, and fill the, those three gaps in with the purple powder. On the far left, go up two columns of three blue terracotta. In this last column, go up two blue wool, and then one blue powder, just like so. That's the side of her arm done, pause if you need to. Okay, let's move on the opposite arm. Set off, get your blue terracotta, pull it across three. On the far left, place one. On the far right, go up three. One, two, three. On the top column, move in one to the left and go up one. Grab your magentas. In the gap, place one, then two across, and then place two magenta bowl on top of it. Put away your magentas and grab your two blues. In the bottom right gap, place a light blue powder. Go across a row of light blue concrete on top of that. On the far left, place a light blue concrete. On the far right, place a light blue wool. And in the gap, place a light blue powder. On top of the light blue concrete, go up two blue wool and a blue powder on top of that. And fill the rest in with light blue, uh, without, not light blue, with just blue terracotta. Just like so. On the side of Silver Gaming Rising's arm done, pause if you need to. Okay, now we're going to the back of her. To start off, we're going to finish off the arms. We're going to do the locked arm first. To start off in the bottom of the corner. Go up two blue terracotta. Okay. Next column on top of that, get your uh, blue wool, place one, and a blue powder on top of that. Next column over, place a blue powder and two blue wool on top of that. A blue terracotta on top of that. And to the right of that, go up four blue terracotta. On top of the blue powder, place a blue wool. Well, not blue wool, a light blue wool. And a light blue powder to the right of that. And a light blue concrete to the right of that. On top of light blue concrete, place a light blue wool. And three blue con light blue concrete to the left of that. On top of the far left light blue concrete, place a light blue wool powder. And three blue terracotta on top of that. On top of the light blue concrete that's visible, place two blue terracotta. And on top of the light blue powder that's visible, place a blue terracotta. Okay, I'll move on to the right arm. I know I left that part unfinished, just leave it there for now. Start off, go up two blue terracotta on the far right. Then a blue bull and a blue powder on top of that. Next column over, place a blue powder, a blue bull, and a blue powder. With a blue terracotta on top of that. Next column over, go up four blue terracotta. On top of the blue powder, go up three purple wool. One, two, three. Three. Actually, break the top one, make it a purple concrete. On the top left, purple wool, go across one to the left. Underneath the place a purple concrete, and to left of it, go up two purple concrete. Okay. On the left of the top purple terracotta, pull across two purple concrete to the left, and go across two purple powder on top of it. Just like so. Go to the bottom and the middle four, place blue terracotta. I mean, and four. And in the middle of that, on the two, place two blue terracotta as well. Just like so. We're going to finish off the light blue first. In the bottom left corner, each light blue concrete, go up two. To the right of that, go up two light blue wool. 
to red up and the indent place the liquid powder. On the far left, go up three blue terracotta, and in the middle of that, pop out one blue terracotta to the right towards the middle. Okay. On the far left, bottom corner, get to liquid concrete, pull across three to the right, and go, go across two liquid concrete top of that. On the far left, liquid concrete, place one more liquid concrete. On every side of that liquid concrete, place the liquid powder. In the bottom left corner, right here, place the liquid powder. In the indent, place one liquid concrete, go up one more liquid concrete, and place one to the left, like so. Okay, now we're going to go to the right and finish off the purples. So don't have to get your purple bowl and go across two at the bottom. Place a purple, bo purple powder in the bottom right, a concrete next to it, and a purple powder next to it. To the left top left diagonal of the purple powder, place another purple powder. A purple wool on top of it. On top of the purple concrete, place a purple wool. Purple wool to the left of it, and a purple wool on top of it. On top of the far left purple wool, place a purple powder. To the right of that, place a purple concrete. On top of that, place a purple wool. On the far right, get your blue terracotta. Go up three. Place one in the indent, and then place a purple powder on top of that. That's done so far. Pause if you need to. Okay, next, grab your magentas, starting in the top left. On top of the two light blue concrete, place two magenta concrete. On the far left, go up one magenta wool, then one magenta concrete, then one magenta wool to the left of it, and magenta concrete on top of it, magenta wool to the left of it, and one more magenta wool on top of that. And on the far right, on top of the two purple powder, go across two magenta concrete, one magenta concrete on top of it, one magenta wool on top of it, one magenta concrete to the right of it, with one on top and one to the right, and then one magenta wool on top of that. Okay, then get your purple, uh, no, get your blue terracotta and fill in the rest of the back and the side of the arms. Just like so. It is so confusing seeing all these blocks in succession. That's why I'm tired. <laughs> That's the back of Silver Gaming Artist done, or Rising done. Pause if you need to. Okay, next we're going to move on to the shoulder blades. Start off, place one on the right shoulder blade when you're facing towards her. Place one on the far right, one on the blue terracotta on the far left, catch it. In the back row, place a magenta wool and a magenta concrete. Grab a blue powder, place a place and block underneath and place a blue powder. Move to the other shoulder blade. Where the magenta wool is, pull down three magenta concrete. To the top left corner, place one blue terracotta in the far right column. Pull across two blue terracotta. In the indent, place one blue wool. Just like so. With that done, you can drop your magentas now. You can drop anything else we can drop, actually. <laughs> you can drop your light blues now. That's pretty much it for now. Let's reorganize the inventory. Grab your strip jungle wood, your whacked exposed copper, grab your white concrete, white wool, grab your black concrete, your strip dark oak wood, and let's grab your dark oak wood planks, your dark oak stairs, and your dark oak slab. So off, get a row placing blocks, place two underneath here, and then six underneath here. On top of each block, besides the far right, place a stripped jungle wood one by one. On the far right, place a whacked exposed copper. Once done, you break all your placing blocks. Okay, on top of the waxed exposed copper, place a white concrete and a white one on top of that. To the left of that, go up two stripped dark oak wood. On top of both those blocks, place a black concrete each, and on the right of the white wall, place a black concrete. Okay. On the far left, strip jungle wood. Place a white concrete and then a white wool. And to the right of that, place two strip dark oak wood. Once done, you can drop your strip dark oak wood, your black concrete, and your two whites. And also your wax exposed cut copper. Well, it's not cut, that's a lie. In the middle, go up two columns of three strip jungle wood. One, two, three. One, two, three. Once done, you could also drop that. Okay, 
Next, on the far left and far right, place one dark oak plank each. Go up one on both sides. And it should look something like this. On the far left, go up six more. On the far right, go up five more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And fill the rest of the top of that in with dark oak planks. Now we're going to do the 3D detail on top of this. I did this wrong. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did six on the side, didn't I? Okay, start off. Go down to the third layer on the top and go across the full row popped out. Go across the middle six on top of that and pop it out. Go across the middle four of that and pop it out. Little piece of logo so far. On each corner right there, get your dark oak stairs and go up and make a little staircase. Then get your dark oak slab and go across four on top of that in the middle, like so. Okay, next on the far right, go down two dark oak wood planks and then a slab on top of it covering part of the eyebrow. On the next row, go get your dark oak planks and go all the way across. And actually pull all the way down to the very bottom, like so. But on the bottom one, break it and make it a dark oak slab. Okay. To the right of that, place a dark oak stair, uh, dark oak plank. And underneath that, place a dark oak slab. On top of the dark oak plank above that, place a dark oak stairs facing to the right down. On top of that, place a dark oak stair to the right facing up, like so. Covering part of, part of, the, uh, part of the white. Place a dark oak plank on top of that. Place one dark oak plank on top of the eye. Little brown part. And then place a dark oak stair on the tippy top, facing towards the right, like so. In the top right corner, right above the black eyebrow, get your dark oak plank or uh, stair. And place one facing towards the left, upside down, like so. And then finish off the front of the face, get your dark oak slab in the bottom right, place one underneath, like so. With that, the, uh, the front face of Silver Gaming Rising is done. Pause if you need to. Okay, once done, we can go on the side of her head. You can grab your blue terracotta, your purple wool, uh, your black dark oak trapdoor, and your three black stones now. Okay, so up, get your dark oak planks and go up one full row. Oh, column, I mean. Okay, on the top, pull back and go across six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like so. Okay, at the bottom, go across one more to the left on the bottom row. And on top of that, go across two to the left, like so, giving you this little indent shape. Then do that again, popping out one more. Do it again, popping out one more. And the next one, pop it all the way to the back, matching the same height as the top, and fill in the next two rows on top of that with dark oak planks. In the bottom right corner where it's not filled in with dark oak planks, place a purple concrete popped out and four blue terracotta to left that. And do the same staircase action where the gap is with the dark oak planks, place a purple concrete. With keep pulling the blue terracotta back. So you go to the top and do two blue terracotta, uh, two purple concrete like so. Okay, next, between the two top uh, purple concretes, go up two polished black stones to the top right diagonal of that place a polished black stone and one to the right of that and make a square of polished black stone on top of that at the middle purple concrete place one polished black stone and one to the right of that and the top right of that place a polished black stone and one top of that giving you a little circle shape now in each corner place a black stone stair either facing towards the left or the right making it into a circular shape like so. 
Okay, now we're just gonna leave that little gap empty for now. We're gonna fill it in later. We're gonna move on the other side of the head, which is the exact mirrored copy beside this little eyebrow part. So you want to pause and just look ahead and skip, you can. Start off, get your dark oak planks, go all the way to the top. Then you get your dark oak truck and place it over the dark, I mean the black, and just you can drop that now. On the top, pull across six to the right. On the bottom, pull across one, then two, and then three, and then four, and then six. And fill in the rest of the roads above that with six as well. Just like so. Pop out a purple concrete on each and then pull back four blue, con blue terracotta. And just keep doing the same pattern until you get the tippy top and do two purple concrete instead. Just like so. And the top, between the top two purple concretes, get two polished blackstone, pop it up. Tell up diagonal that, go up one, and place one to the left of it, and make a square pol polished blackstone on top of it. At the middle purple concrete, go up, place one, and go one to the left. Tell up diagonal of that, go up one, and place one above that. And in each corner, place a polished blackstone stair, either facing left or right, making a circular shape like so. Okay, let's move on to the back side of the head. So off, get your blue terracotta and fill across the two rows. Then pop out a row of eight. Pull across two rows of blue terracotta on top of that. A row of purple concrete on top of that. And fill the rest of the back of the head in with dark oak planks. None of those popped out. Just like so. And just to make it look a bit better, I suggest breaking two corners on both sides of the hoodie. It makes it look way better in my opinion. You don't need to do this, it's not part of the skin, but I think it looks just better. Next, get your dark oak planks, and it's filling the top of the head, just like so. Okay, next, get your polished black stone stairs, and on both sides of the polished black stones, place two facing normal, going left and right, like so. Then go across two rows of polished blackstone, connecting it on both sides. On top of each polished blackstone, place a polished blackstone slab, going all the way across on both sides as well. Just like so. And that's the headset done for the flat, uh, blackstone part. You could throw away every block besides your blue concrete, blue wool, I mean your blue powder, your blue wool, and your purple wool, purple powder. Okay, on the right side of her head, in the bottom of the corner, place a purple wool. On the top right of the corner, place a purple wool. I place two purple powder on the uh, gaps. Move on to the other side of the head. In the bottom left corner, place a blue wool. In the top right corner, place a blue wool. And fill in the two gaps with blue powder. With that, Civil Giving Rising Slash Artist is done. If you know where my skins are usually do, I can do it. Or at least I can try.